Racism, an issue this country has faced since the beginning. From slavery to Native American genocide to Jim Crow laws and internment camps, racism has always been a part of U.S. history. And although the nation has enacted many federal and state-level laws to prevent the woes of the past from ever happening again, racism is still a problem today. Now, racism is defined as any prejudice or discrimination against a person based on their race or ethnic group. And while most people can identify that this is morally wrong, many still unintentionally subscribe to racist views. And according to anonymous social media listening data, some people have a lot of racist views. Of course, it's difficult to quantify exactly how racist the state really is, as most racist people aren't going to admit to a poll worker that they're racist. Many do, however, get pretty bold when they can hide behind a screen. So location-based monitoring of tweets and Google searches gives us a pretty good indication. Remember though, while the following states do have many racist people, most people in these states are not racist. But if you wanna see more videos concerning race, such as the 10 states with the highest black or white populations, let's hit 5,000 likes. These are the 10 most racist states in America. Number 10. Maryland. On the surface, Maryland doesn't seem very racist. It's one of the least systemically racist states with the 12th lowest income gap by race and is the 11th most racially integrated state in terms of the workplace, schools, and voting booths. So it's surprising that 16.59% of Twitter accounts discussing race in the state used hateful or derogatory language, especially since many researchers believe poor education to be the biggest cause of racism, and Maryland is the fourth most educated state. But considering its racist past, it also makes sense. Interracial marriage was illegal here until 1967. Both Rising Sun and Thurmont, two small towns in Northern Maryland, were once home to the headquarters of a KKK chapter. And despite Maryland's nickname being the Free State, it was actually one of the last states to outlaw slavery, not doing so until November of 1864. So while very few people today act on their hateful views, with only 11 hate crimes based on race or religion, reported in 2020, that dark history of racism still lingers here, especially in the more rural parts of the state. Number 9. West Virginia. There are countless Reddit posts by people of color who are scared to even visit West Virginia due to its reputation as the most racist state. And our data kind of backs it up as 16.78% of West Virginian tweets about race used hateful rhetoric. But unlike in Maryland, where the racism is mostly subtle, many West Virginians are openly racist. Multiple Reddit users say they commonly hear white people say the N-word, and many others advise POC to keep quiet and stay out of bars is racist views and drunkenness often lead to dangerous situations. One Redditor in particular noted, There is a lot of racism here. I know some of y'all are going to tell me you don't see it, but I know you do. When we have to tell people to wear WVU gear to blend in and to stay away from bars for their safety, that's a big racism problem. Of course, it's also worth noting that most West Virginians are incredibly welcoming, but as 97.4% of the population is white, many people here, particularly in the more rural parts, have never seen someone with a different skin tone in their entire life. And as many West Virginians are wary of people they don't know, this ignorance is likely the cause of their racist views. But hey, at least the Mountain State has the 10th lowest employment gap by race and the second lowest income gap. Although that may also be because there are literally no good paying jobs, so there can't even be a big gap since everyone's poor. Number eight. Arkansas. With signs like these and a former sheriff of Arkansas County caught on camera saying racial slurs, including the N-word, it's no surprise Arkansas is on this list. It is a surprise that it's only one of two southern states to make the cut, however, as many first-hand accounts claim the South to have the most in-person racism. But that might just be because a majority of the racist population in southern states is older, and many older people don't use Twitter. Overall, 16.83% of tweets discussing race in Arkansas did so in a hateful way which shouldn't be a shocker considering the natural state is home to the largest number of hate groups per capita, as well as the modern-day Ku Klux Klan, which is headquartered in Zinc. And speaking of Zinc, it's only a 20-minute drive from Harrison, Arkansas, which many deem to be the most racist town in America. Now, sure, not everyone in the town is racist, and a lot of the younger generation is trying to change its reputation, but many of the older residents are actually proud of their hateful views and have no shame showcasing them to the world. 
Number seven, Kansas. Kansas is the first state on our list where the data shows there's a systemic problem with racism. The income gap by race is the 34th worst of any state, and in terms of racial integration, it's 37th. Now I've been all over Kansas, and I'm honestly surprised it didn't rank even lower. In Wichita, for example, it feels like there's a literal line dividing the black, Latino, and white neighborhoods. The same goes for the Kansas City suburbs, where, as one Redditor put it, I think the problem is that the older generation have decided that minority influx, or even the perception of their presence, explicitly causes loss of property value and desirability. Another Reddit user from rural Kansas claimed, you'll definitely hear unkind comments regarding minorities. In particular, quote-unquote, illegals and Muslims. I guess it makes sense that many of the elderly hear of racist views, as some of them were alive when Jim Crow laws still existed. And unfortunately, at least some of that racism seems to have been handed down to the younger generations of Twitter users. Users, because 16.95% of all tweets referencing race in Kansas did so in a hateful or derogatory way. Number 6. Wisconsin. Outside of dairy, drinking, and the Packers, most non-Wisconsinites probably don't know much about the state. But now you have something else to add to the list, because in 2020 alone, 74 hate crimes were committed in Wisconsin, which also just so happens to be the worst state in terms of racial integration, and 43rd in terms of income gap by race. Even the Milwaukee Bucks president publicly chimed in on the issue, saying, Very bluntly, Milwaukee is the most segregated racist place I have ever ever experienced in my life. Which makes sense, considering that many of Milwaukee's suburbs, such as Brookfield, were formed by racist policies like redlining and blockbusting. Even the schools in Milwaukee were segregated until the 70s. One Redditor from Brookfield shared their experience. Never in my 30 years have I experienced so much racism and prejudice. I share the same socioeconomic status as many folks in this community, and I am highly educated. Nonetheless, it seems as if all black people are quote-unquote thugs to them. I have been subjected to harsh stereotypes at neighborhood gatherings and been stopped and pulled over many times on my way to or from my house for no reason. In fact, my husband had the cops called on him and was accused of breaking into our own home just for moving furniture. Considering testimonies like that, the fact that 16.98% of tweets referencing race were hateful isn't exactly a shocker. Number 5. Hawaii. The land of rainbows isn't colorblind, but the issue isn't what you might think. While 17.06% of tweets referencing race in the state were deemed derogatory, upon further research, many of the offensive tweets were coming out of a place of ignorance rather than hate, due to the popularity of rap music and simultaneous lack of a heavy black culture in the state. One Redditor explains, You'll hear the N-word a lot on the Big Island. Not by racists, but by people who grew up on rap and don't fully realize the severity of the word. Another user says, The racism you'll inevitably experience won't be hostile, but it'll be very ignorant. I can't stress that Hawaii and the mainland have much different definitions of political correctness. Everyone makes comments about and jokes about race. Now in terms of institutional racism, Hawaii is actually the least racist state. It has the lowest employment gap by race, the eighth lowest income gap, and was ranked as having the best racial integration of the workplace, schools, and voting booths. Number four. Mississippi. Wait, what? You're telling me we're actually not the worst at something for once? Finally! Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. But before you get too excited, the percentage of tweets mentioning race in a hateful way is still 18.59%. That's a big jump from Hawaii. And since Mississippi is the only deep south state on this list, even though most Reddit users agree that it's probably the most racist region in the country, this study obviously isn't perfect. So who knows? Maybe Mississippi is actually the worst. I mean, they have the 8th largest employment gap by race and the 12th largest income gap, even with the lowest incomes in the nation. Heck, last year actually marked the first time in history that Mississippi voters opted to remove a Jim Crow era law from their constitution. The provision, which was designed to prevent black Americans from holding office, made Mississippi the only state that could withhold a person from winning an election, even if they garnered a majority of the vote. And I guess it worked, because a black candidate has never been elected to to any statewide office here, despite it being the blackest state in the country. Number three. 
Maine. While the laws in workplace in Maine seem to be actively anti-racist, resulting in the second lowest employment gap by race and the 17th lowest income gap, that doesn't mean many people here aren't still racist or ignorant. Over 95% of Maine is white, and much of the population is very rural. So outside of the Portland area, many Mainers have never seen a non-white person. And this ignorance seems to be the basis for most racism here. As one Reddit user describes, thing is, the people up here don't even know they're being racist. Like when I'm eating something unfamiliar and Asian for lunch at work, I'll get rude comments about eating rice or weird animal parts. My coworkers also walk by saying ching chong ching chong. They think they're being funny, but it's offensive. Many Redditors have also noted there being an unusually large amount of Confederate flags, despite Maine being about as far away from the Confederacy as you could get, and that tons of white people casually say the N-word and hold racist views against the Somali immigrant population. This translates to the online world as well, as 19.25% of tweets regarding race used hateful or racist language. Number two, South Dakota. Despite being right next to Wyoming, which is one of the least racist states according to the study, South Dakota definitely deserves its spot on this list. Not only are 20% of tweets referencing race in the state derogatory, South Dakota also has the second worst employment gap by race and the worst income gap. WalletHub actually ranks it as the third most segregated state in terms of the workplace, schools, and voting booths. And things only get worse when you consider that South Dakota is one of the least white Great Plains states with just 84% of the population identifying as white, and a large percentage identifying as indigenous. One Redditor states, I won't sugarcoat this. I have seen firsthand landlords and employers reject applicants solely from Native American names and appearances. They told me to my face they do it regularly. Many other Reddit users talk of similar experiences, such as this account. I applied for a law enforcement position and was asked by the interview board if I would pull people over solely for being Native three times before I walked out. South Dakota has had a long long history of racism towards Native Americans, and it's seemingly still very present today. Now before we get to number one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what you think the most racist state is. But without further ado, number one. Delaware. What the heck? Delaware? That's so random. I know. I literally thought the exact same thing and quadruple checked to make sure the data was accurate. But it's true. 21.4% of users tweeting about race in Delaware did so in a derogatory way. In contrast, Vermont was far and away the least racist state with only 6.96% of tweets about race being hateful. So yeah, you can do better, America. And especially you, Delaware. Who even lives in Delaware? Oh, wait. My dad does. This may be both the first and last list that Delaware ever appears on, as the state is just too small to really be relevant. No offense, dad. But for now, Delaware can say it's number one at something. Although I probably wouldn't brag about this one. 